right. All right. <coughs> uh, hi, this is Sherman Club, and and we are here today for an interview with Red Fox. Hey, uh, hey, how y'all doing? I'm sitting here with a fat Albert's ass, and we're gonna do a goddamn interview. <laughs> I'm telling you, this nigga is so wide, he take up both chairs. I'm actually sitting on this nigga's belly button right now. <laughs> well, I I think that's kind of disrespectful. No, motherfucker, your weight on top of me is disrespectful. You can't tell me anything disrespectful you sitting over here. You interviewing me. You want to hear what I got to say about your fat ass let, and everybody else's fat ass. Let, let's just start with the question. All right. I got a question. How the fuck you get this goddamn big? Nigga, you only in your twenties. <clears throat> well, I'm trying to make a medicine to where I can I can lose pounds. Yeah, I already seen the medicine. It's called Slim Fast. Matter of fact, there's another medicine that's called Run. Now, let, now let's not be disrespectful. If you say that disrespectful shit right now, you fucking hot dog looking motherfucker, I'm sick of this motherfucker already. Crazy <coughs> hey, my ass. I'm talking. Hey, now I'll, now I'll get my family on you. Hey, goddamn, you can get your goddamn family on me. me. Say, how about you get your family on you? We can make a cruise ship. Claude, Claude, hit him. Right. Hey, Claude, you better get your crazy ass away from me. <coughs> Motherfucker look like you ain't Bonnie, you ain't Clyde. Well, kiss your ass on the way from mine. How about you kiss my ass? Well, I think I'm getting tired of you, Red. I say, you, you, you getting on my nerves. You, you, you're not allowed in my class. First of all, you talking about you getting tired of me, Red? You need to get rid of that red beef you keep your fucking like, consuming. Goddamn niggas, what does your toes look like? Can you tell me if you got ten or nine? <laughs> It's like a couple of them motherfuckers just rubbed together. See, you ask me questions. Shit. So what, what, what's the serum? Tell me about the serum. I've seen, I've seen a little bit of the movie. Tell me about the, the serum you got. Well, this this medicine can allow me to get a lot of money. How and much I, money? About $10 million. $10 million goddamn dollars of shit. I wish I was that fat before. Shit. I'd be 10 hundred pounds. Shit, if we going to get $10 million out of that shit. At least I can lose this shit, goddamn. No, where you gonna keep this shit in your wallet or in your boat behind your asshole? Where, where you gonna keep it? You know what? This, this, these questions is over. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got some more questions. You see, matter of fact, motherfucker, I'm, you know what? I got a list of questions for your fat ass. All right, number one. How did you get all of them fat motherfuckers in one room without the floor, bro? <laughs> Answer that question. Okay, you know you ain't got no answer. I, I understand. All right, number two. <laughs> did y'all really eat all that goddamn food on that set? No. Number three. <coughs> Nigga, what are you about to talk, cough up a turkey? <laughs> Nigga, Thanksgiving was six months ago. You about to cough the shit back up. All right, let me ask you. Let me ask you another question. Do you do stunt doubles for Fat Albert? Or Precious? No. This nigga done done stunt doubles for Precious. And I'm only getting the same goddamn movie. How you be so goddamn big you play two people? I think the nigga even played a piece of Tyler Perry as Medea. What's wrong with that nigga dressing up like a Trump dresser? I thought you didn't made enough money to stop dressing like a bitch. I guess, I guess, I guess he's still acting like one. It can't let go of the road. Hey, oh, hey, hey, shit, Terrence Howard just walked in the room. Hey, what's up, brother? How you doing? What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Good, fine you, man. It's good. You know, I've seen your movie, Hustle and Flow, and I got to tell you, that goddamn movie hustled so fast to that goddamn flow, I thought it disappeared. You know that scene, you knocked Louis Chris out? That's how your movie was. That shit was terrible, nigga. Shit, you know how you got locked up in that scene? 
They locked your career up in that same goddamn jail cell, and you can't get them both out at the same time. Hey, man. Kind of disrespectful. I ain't disrespectful, motherfuckers. No, what was disrespectful was your whole fucking career with that white girl. The same bitch that was in Black Snake Moan. Your ass should have been in it. Nigga, I seen you. Talking about other comedians. Talking about they ain't good. I seen your ass with that goddamn guitar. Who the fuck are you, Bob Miley? You can't be fucking Bob Miley. I. You know what, man? I I gotta I gotta get out of here, Sherman. You know, I can't I can't be around the negative ener- this negative energy. Yeah, me neither. So take your fucking light skin ass somewhere else. I can't be around that negative energy. That negative energy, nigga. Fuck you. There ain't nothing negative about the truth. The only thing was negative was your ass coming in here and disrupting my shit. Have you seen any of my movies, man? I've seen a lot of them movies. And now, after I've seen the movies, I, I think, had a partnership with the Fair Gossip. I think, I think you're a little too old to be seeing my movies, man. Oh, I'm too old. <laughs> I'm too old. I'm too old. Yeah, I, motherfucker, I was around when your motherfucking daddy was having wet dreams. you just lucky that you lucky you landed in the spot <laughs> of your mama's pussy heads, and you kind of made it through the desert. Shit or else your ass wouldn't be here, hey. I bet you your daddy was fucking to me while he was fucking your retarded ass mama. <laughs> Get your fucking ass out of here. You nigga look like nigga looks like the milk after you eat a bowl of Cheerios. Dang, man. That's hella rude. Dang, man. That's hella rude, Mary. That's hella rude, man. Where the fuck you get all these goddamn mains from? That nigga, I'm about to fade your motherfucking man. If you get out of here, I'm about to bust your ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, you take care of mine. Yeah, you kind of you kind of getting on my, my damn nerves, but I ain't going to do nothing to you. you damn right. You, how the fuck you going to do something to a dead person? Stupid motherfucker. You couldn't do nothing if you wanted to. You couldn't do nothing if you tried to. Nigga, you know what? But it's okay. You know what I saw? Because I'm dead. You know what I saw? Guess what I saw, Terrence? Tell me what I saw when I was dead. I seen the casket that your career was in. <laughs> it was right next to me. We had a drink. <laughs> you, t- you telling me that you can see my future, man? Nigga, I didn't see your future and I had a, a beer with it. <laughs> that's that's what your future is, is dead. That shit had rigor mortis twice. Look, look, man. I can't be the the I can't be the worst actor. I know, I know I'm not the worst actor. So you can't be getting on me, man. I know I ain't the worst actor. I got I got three movies coming up, and I think you'll be dead before you <laughs> be able to see them. Nigga, you know what movie I thought you was really dead in? Red Tails. Nigga, you should have tucked your tail right in between your legs and left. I said, goddamn, how you go from hustle and hoe? To Red Tail. Hell no. Red Red Tails, man, that was a good movie. It was talking about history, man. We we was we was what, such... what fucking history was that? That motherfucking ass said three lines. That's how bad of an actor you is. <laughs> Nigga, they gave your ass three lines. We don't care. How the fuck are you gonna tell me that movie was about history, motherfucker? You didn't even make history in that goddamn movie. <laughs> that shit stayed in the box office. <laughs> That shit didn't even, I don't even know who leaked that shit. You treat it like a Dr. Dre check. That's what I, That should have been held like detox. Now, now tell me something, man. How you know that? How you, how you know Dr. Dre, man? You said, wasn't you born in the 30s? Nigga. Yeah. How I know that? Cause nigga, I've been waiting for the detox too. Shit. <laughs> that nigga need a detox to loosen that motherfucking CEO. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> 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 I just gonna say a lot of crazy shit.